Welcome to Chapter 3, Off the Rails. I have a feeling you're going to like this one. Alright, are we avenging Dad? We are going to try. But I did have a name. Tseng. Papa told me about this guy. He called himself Guai. Some kind of Chinese ghost. And Tseng understood showmanship. He liked to cut out his enemies' tongues. To feast on their souls. I had to do a little ghost hunting of my own. That reference makes no sense. That's, you never see Sang do that. That's where the tongue is located? Or the soul is located? The tongue? Yes, according to Chinese ghosts. Right. <laughs> <laughs> get, get the hell out of here! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna... Police business! Hey, you're that guy from the police station before. Whatever. Alright, so... Shut up. We're going to fight, find some more triads, and as you can see, I've unlocked weapon takedowns. Oh my god. So we have a whole new section of takedown. It looks like you've got revenge on the mind. <laughs> Great animation. Yeah, that was a... That poor cop. That poor mannequin never stood a chance. Now we get to control Shadow, but we'll be doing that in a bit. You do that with the cursor, and you can command him to attack or grab weapons or... Defend, which I'm not really sure what that is. So. He turns himself into a shield. Here we go. I want to tell you something! That was needless, but whatever. This is just a farce at this point. Basically, yeah. There's our giant dog. Alright. This is a comedic video game, right? Yes, it is. Okay. So basically, the triad are um, triads are just randomly killing people in this rainy part of Grant City. Just me, by the way, are the raindrops falling like really slow? Shit! What a mess. Are you sure, those are raindrops. Okay. Th this next section of the game, by the way, which I uh, have to do a fade transition, took me 20 full minutes to beat. This one part to the next checkpoint. As in, you died a lot. Yes, I died a lot here. Mm. On normal difficulties, this is pretty bad, and it's pretty bad on hard, too. Mm. I kind of misspoke earlier when I said that there's nothing that can kill you one in one hit, and it turns out grenades can. And the big problem, honestly, is that whole, like, I can't see where the fuck they are, you can only just hear them and hope you're not anywhere near them. We're going to see that a couple of times in this next section. Maybe that's what Defend is. Shadow jumps on top of the grenade for you. It just, like, he just absorbs the blast. Yeah, and it makes him stronger. <laughs> he probably could, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's he's basically more demon than dog. <laughs> right. You'll also notice, too, these, like, uh, triad guys are all kind of dressed like Bruce Lee motherfuckers. Like, they're wearing tank tops, but they take, like, a million hits. Well, they're fashionable tank tops. Banana Republic. Well, that's, I think, what all Chinese people wear, basically. It is. They, all, they also all know Kung Fu, which is, you know... Duh. Accurate to real life. Yeah, exactly. What was that mini tornado you just created out of nowhere? Oh, okay. So that's how you control Shadow. Right. Like, you kind of point him at things. And uh, what's cool about that is you can see all your enemies through the walls that way. So this is the hardest enemy in the game. I can't see out of this mask. And I don't mean that enemy type, like the triad sniper. I mean, this particular sniper is maybe the hardest enemy in the whole game. Hmm. All right. Uh, <laughs> Ow, a headache from that bullet wound to the head. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I have the feeling he's like getting mad at us making fun of him or something. I'm sorry for making fun of your game, Jack. It's not our fault, it's awful. Oh, Jack, don't repeat the same takedown. And I don't get that part of it, like the guy's like hitting your leg, like, oh, let go of me! But, well. Glad you took three shots to do that, because one wasn't enough. No, certainly not. So the problem with this sniper is he's up on this fire escape that I'm kind of oh, aiming well, at Well, the right sniper's now. got Wi-Fi. Right. And the only place you can take cover are behind the cars, which will explode if he shoots them and kill you, so... Not to mention the drugs. <laughs> you kind of have to do that and out-snipe the sniper. Mm. This is fortunately, uh, this is maybe the worst case of it Wait there, Shadow. in the whole game. Ooh, watch it, sniper. Shadow, snipe! Plus, the worst is if like, you can, like, let's say, just book it and make it under the guy. He can't aim down to shoot you, but you also can't aim up to shoot him. So, you end up having to, like, run out of cover and just get shot by him regardless. So, just making a break for it's not an option? No, you basically just kind of have to blindly shoot and hope you get him at one point. 
And for the record, there is nothing more frustrating than killing that sniper and dying to some grenade after the fact. It sucks. Speaking of the devil. Uh oh. A grenade? Fuck you! Yes, he was like all the way back there, but how the fuck am I gonna know that? Alright, so it looks like he's gone, so we're gonna book it for the next checkpoint. He's gone? Before. How? I killed him. Oh. Yeah, you can't see it. And there's a, the hallway of endless windy garbage. <laughs> That will not end as long as you look at it. Blowing out of the store labeled computers. You can hear there's, by the way, another grenade somewhere around me. After 20 minutes, I'm like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Where is it? Now, you can, you can use, by the way, unlike the first game, Shadow as many times Shadow, and as often go, as you want. I, I personally like him better as... <laughs> okay. Jack doesn't like that in game mechanic, apparently. <laughs> no, go get does. him, Shadow! So I'm hiding right now. Shadow! And Shadow can get hurt. Oh too. no! Yeah, now we have to revive him, a la Resident Evil Five. <laughs> <laughs> Spray an herb in his face. Yeah. So uh, basically, Shadow is our Sheva. Oh, good. Uh, On your feet. But yeah, there's. <laughs> now I have no fucking idea what Jack, Jack does. You have to healing him, powers. <laughs> he just like rubs them. We're gonna see this a couple of times through the Let's Play, and it, it just looks like he, like, kinda rubs his belly, and he's like, oh, okay. Well, have you ever rubbed a dog's belly? They love that shit. I guess he was just playing dead, yeah. Don't kick my dog. <laughs> there we are. So, we're roughly at the ne uh, There, thanks, Shadow. We're roughly at the next checkpoint now, so... Good. So, uh... And, uh, remember there were those cop, like, those AI cops helping us out? Yeah, it looks like they all died. No, I think they're just all gone. Oh. But look, new enemy type. The Black Hand Warrior. <laughs> he was kind of like Molar Ram. So basically... I came like, from the Halloween party to fight. All, like, the different enemy groups in this game, there's, like, a melee guy and a rocket guy and a sniper guy is how it works, you know? What was that fighting stance? I don't know. But for some reason, even though this guy's wearing nothing, since he's a melee guy, it just takes tons and tons of ammo to kill him. But... That'll do nicely, too. It works. Oh, look. A, a grenade. So here's, uh, here's our little... paw print explosion kind of cursor, and... And this guy's jumping at me, doing kung fu. And it, since we dramatically killed him and got delayed fall damage, or splash damage from that. Hooray! Are you, uh, are you wondering why we're doing any of this? A little. Well, I'm just kind of going with it right now. Basically, we're just in the middle of multiple police shootouts, is the idea. This will all make sense, uh... Well, okay, let me amend that. In about five minutes, we're gonna just be doing something else completely different, and that will make more sense. Okay. If that helps any. Yeah, basically. So Pretty all I need to know is that kill bad guys with cops. Yes. With our giant dog and our giant shotgun. Mm. With giant fists. And our giant meaty fists. We'll get there. Don't worry. I wonder if, uh... I wonder how Faith is doing now. Remember our female lead character? I we do. Were not gonna... Yeah. I miss her man, Joel. She's in our, like, frame story. I'm glad that's the right to play that literary device. Mm hmm That's really nice. Alright, just throw him against the taxi. So now we're back I in was the in the cab first. first! Okay, you can have it. Yeah. Go get him, Shadow. So basically, the triads also are in Chinatown, which kind of makes sense, I guess. What's it with Chinatown? They really don't like Chinatown. Games. They just have such a low opinion of it. Grand City in Chinatown is the most dangerous thing. Uh-oh. Look at this. Could this be... Oh. I was hoping for Longshoreman X. No, it was Iron Ox. Some... It's, it's close, you know. Has an X in it. Yeah. And that guy's got a hood on, kind of like the mercenaries from the first game. Mm. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's okay, you got your hands ready for combat. Oh, jeez. I just gave away my position by yelling your name! Wait, I, I just shot that rocket launcher really close range at a guy. Right into my dead dog. That's, uh, whoa. There we go. You don't, you don't want to disarm a, a rocket guy, because it leaves you very close to a live guy with, you I've know. Got, gotta give Jack credit, he did take it. 
That is true. Well, actually, I gotta give the other guy credit, too. He, he took it as well. On, there we are. <laughs> and you're just fine now. Good boy. Those are some potent doggy treats. Who's daddy's little killer? Who is he? I think Shadow's neutered. Get in there, boy, go! Uh, I think he was neutered, but he kind of grew it back. Yeah. I, I think that's how that works. He's neutered and pissed off. Oh, by the way, there's a, there's a trash subway train here. I... Okay, anyway. So... <laughs> What's your objective again? We're gonna find out now. Yeah. The bodies belong to a couple of guys it's who worked in trains. Huh? They'd had their tongues cut out. That was Sang's M.O. Guess he wanted a train. Poor bastards had been butchered just to get it. So Sang is apparently trying to steal a train. Triads. That's tongue operated? No, you know they did that Chinese ghost bullshit? They decide to mention it once here to legitimize that, rather than just like adding that in after the fact. That it does legitimize it. Yeah, exactly. Like I want I want to bite tongues out now. Right. Well, now, like, I didn't buy Sang as a kawaii or some kind of Chinese ghost before, but now I totally do. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, um, now we got our rocket launcher. Edward. The crates were marked. Dark 765. Near to where Dad had died. That was a link I couldn't ignore. So now we've got some good detective work going on here. Oh, nice. And now we've learned that Dock 765 is somehow involved. Now, what that has to do with a train? Nothing. Train is completely incidental to everything, but, you know, we got to be a good detective and uh, thoroughly investigate all that. Well, when I think right, good detective, I think Jack's Slate. Right. There we go. <laughs> that guy actually begged for his life. Look at that gun, boy. Oh, yeah, so Shadow can fetch weapons. It's... R who cares? You, you'll, you'll use Shadow for killing people for most of it. Shadow's like your utility belt. Yeah, basically. Well, if Shadow had opposable thumbs, he would be the whole operation. Now, Jack Slate is the anti-Batman, killing literally yeah. everyone. He's basically Shadow's Robin, I think, is what's going on here. Yeah. He can just hold on to things. Uh... Oh, by the way, and much like the first Dead to Rights, um, you get barely any ammo for the guns, so Jack ends up just kind of throwing them all away. I've noticed that. He's... Quite a litter bug. <laughs> yeah, basically. I think you should recycle guns. I think that's how that works. Now we're gonna get to a very plot relevant item pretty soon. Oh boy. Is it another gun? It's this radio. Look how Jack's pointing the gun at the radio. He's suspicious. <laughs> what does this radio hey! do? We're on this radio. That's great. What the? <laughs> Uh, hmm. Oh my god, it's just Kawhi Yell, a, sh a Chinese ghost radio. Powered by the tongues of men. Damn it. Damn it, Sang. I finally caught up with Sang. He was busy executing and snorting coke all at the same time. Wow, that's quite the party. He's a multitasker. a special breed of person to be that high and still be in charge. Made him dangerous, fearless. And cool. <sighs> He's a mime, come on. That wasn't the best snorting of coke I've ever seen. It's a great shooting, though. He snorted the coke all over his face. I have more important things to do. Clean this up. Including... them. They... <laughs> fucked up. Now watch as I get stuck in a box. <laughs> the well, box he is, is getting good. smaller. Well, he is a great leader. I mean, mm. man, don't listen to him. Yes. I'm pretty sure Seng's dialogue was, like, meant for a different scene or something, because, like, <laughs> like if you were executing his own guys, it would make more sense that he's, like, they fucked up, but... Yeah. Like, how, did, how did these cops fuck up? Like, he's just being a... You know what I mean? So I feel like that was kind of added after the fact or something like that, you know? Maybe it's just so that, fighting social commentary on the police force. No, that's gonna come later. <laughs> and sadly, it really is. Uh-oh. Seng's getting on his train. I didn't want to leave. I wanted 
He had as much right as I did to pursue his vengeance. But I had no choice. I only hoped that he had the strength to keep up, to follow me. So now we're leaving Shadow behind for the train. Oh. What? what? And, and guess what? The train is full of bombs! Oh no! <laughs> yes! We have to defuse the bombs on the train! Grant City, you need to inspect your public transport more. Yeah, so... This is... Here's our new objective out of nowhere. The triads are loading bombs onto trains. Is the bomb defusing as dramatic as in the first Dead to Rights? No, I did it before. Oh. Oh. You just touch it and you get a few seconds on the time limit. And Jack has the Midas touch with reviving Shadow, defusing bombs, does anything? Yeah, he really does. It's a shame he loves killing so much. Yeah. He could have been a great surgeon. Or veterinarian, for that matter. I wouldn't want him to do surgery on me. No, I don't think so. Start incision, takes out a shotgun. I actually like the music on the train section, but that's it's... What you get. Oh, that's what he gets. But, uh... You know, it's like drowned out by tons of gunfire and bomb disarming and all that. Well, gunfire is part of all the soundtrack. If, like, if you find download the disc, it has gunfire. Right. Oh, yeah, that one, yeah. I think when they composed it, actually. And it's interspersed with Jack yelling, fuck you. Whoa, okay. So we got a big problem on the top of the trains on hard difficulty in that there's no cover, so you kind of have to grab a guy and make your own cover. Yeah. And it's pretty much guaranteed death if you don't do this, because they're just guys at the end you can't really shoot in time. So, that's uh, that's how we take care of bombs. How many are there? How, how many bombs are there? Right. I have no idea, like 16, 17? <laughs> what? No, I'm kidding. No. Um, I mean, I would believe it. So, the plan here, because they don't really get into it, is that they're driving this train toward Grant Central Station, and I guess it's gonna blow up there and destroy the, like, Port Authority or whatever. Sure. But again, they never really tell you that, so I'm kind of extrapolating that from what happens and where the train ends up and all that. So instead, like, as far as we know... Also, I guess all these triads are going to die on the train because the bombs are set to go off, like, right now. I was going to say, do they know that there are bombs on the train? I guess they don't. I... You know, now that you mentioned it, that's not really clear either. What's this that beeping? Is... Uh, trains, you know. <laughs> what happens in three minutes? I think it arrives. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna use these explosive barrels for cover. Shit! Alright, so... This is the crate car. Ugh, somebody's oh, really on. desperate to get to first class. Whoa. Whoa, that wreck. <laughs> that, <laughs> that 412, good job. Yeah. Jesus. That actually was the killing blow on that guy, by the way. I didn't realize it right away. But... A light shove. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, that's it for me. Uh. Exactly the life I had left. Uh-oh. Have you noticed Jack, Jack did this earlier, too? He's like, triads. Like, you've been fighting them the whole level. It always has to be triads. This is a great martial arts scene. Yeah, did John Woo design this part of the game? Yes, he did. Actually, many famous directors worked on the Dead to Rights Retribution game. You might notice it from the wonderful lighting and, uh... John Woo snorted some coke and then directed this. <laughs> Don't worry about the special effects team. They fucked up. There we go. If you notice, too, like, you get the bonus from the bomb before Jack actually even touches it. The bomb just knows it has no chance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the bomb gives up. It's, it's like, alright, Jack, you got me. I'm not fucking with this guy. I've God seen knows, what he does. God knows what he can do to me. <laughs> so basically, Jack runs at a guy with a machine gun, and just pulls away the machine gun, and then punches him for a bit, and then shoots him. Oh, and there's a giant police badge on the crate. You see it? I do. Yep. Is that you how you get your gold badge for the level? Fuck That's you! Right. I'm sorry, Jack, I was just asking a question. <laughs> Jesus. So, um... No, that's so that's one of our 50 secret badges that I'm not collecting because there's no point to it whatsoever. All right. And here's the steam part of the train, I suppose. And now we're, we're back We're getting past part. that. Looked hard. 
By the way, if you're like transporting things on trains, you can just leave them on open cars and not secure them. Yeah, no restraints whatsoever. Right, just put them. Put those, take your uh, forklift, put the pallets right on there. The train's Don't only worry. going 10 miles per hour. Apparently, all of these uh, crates are shipping like wine glasses too. Every single one. It's like a little goblet. Each has one wine glass in it. <laughs> well, hey, get out of here, you. I prefer a... beer! You guys are gonna destroy the wine glasses of Grant City? Vineyards? I don't think Not so. Not on my watch. I'll have to touch this one at least twice. Um. Uh. uh <laughs> and that's the end of chapter three. Oh, well. Well. Uh, well, you know who needs physics. Just jumped off a moving, exploding train. Uh, I... <laughs> Jack says that like it's a common occurrence, like, ah, oh, fuck. I did like a good three minutes. Like, why did that blow up? I... Here we go again. I'm not, yeah, I'm not really clear on that whole scene. <laughs> but, uh... What was accomplished, plot-wise? Um. There's there's a guy who cuts out tongues and snorts coke who got away. Okay, I'm no, I'm sorry. Volatile Games wrote that in after the fact. He does not cut out a single tongue in any rendered cutscene. They just like you see some bodies and Jack's like, oh, uh, I mentioned this earlier. He cuts out tongues. You know what I mean? Like it's bullshit. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. And then yeah, and then oh, he stole a train and now it's gonna blow up. It's blowing up right now. So I guess I'll just. Jump off the train. Uh, job well done. I'm one step closer to my father's killer? So the next level takes place in the afterlife, right? Uh, yes. Oh, good. Dead to rights. Dead to rights. Retribution. <laughs> <laughs>